morning. Nearly wiped out a few times coming down that slippery bank. So I'm just down by the river and wow, she's full, I'll show you. If my doggy will let me. Come on. There's nowhere nowhere to stand by the river today. She's very full. So let's go. Lots of water. going to be able to hear me so I'll move up a little bit away from it but so it's still in the background so you get her soothing sound and just imagine that all of that healing power in the water is rushing through your veins this morning cleaning clearing healing bringing the messages of whatever it is whatever it is for you um, so I'm just having a wee run with the doggy very slow honestly I'm a little bit beaten up from the last few weeks but as you can see my eyes are doing so much better I'll show you a photograph of them from last week when I was starting to panic with what the hell is going on here I was hugely allergic to even just washing my face um, so Instagram has changed how long we can make a video for so I'm gonna have to do this in a couple of installments but I felt I need to talk in case anybody is experiencing the energy of, of what it's been like for the last while. So that biblical battle that's always spoken about, the light versus the dark, it's been palpable these last weeks. That dark energy, and I'm just going to speak frank, and if it triggers you, I want you to ground yourself and put your hand in your heart and realize that you're way stronger than you may believe you are but the dark energy has definitely been weaving its way through the planet and and mankind um, in a perceivable way and you may have been experiencing this as more anxiety or disrupted sleep or a lot of emotion coming up or just noticing what the hell so we're seeing it like a lot of power structures financial structures um, government structures and even down to smaller structures you know the dark exposes truth that's what we want if we want change more of it has to come to the surface but for sure it's been weaving its way around and it weaves its way around through all of us and it triggers us and it will bring a lot up and we have a choice in those moments to act from our heart or we may fall into the traps of greed, envy, lack, fear, competitiveness, um, needing more, um, distraction. Just behaviors that take us away from our center and our light. And it's a bit like a, a test and, and a challenge. And also that energy is weaving its way through the entire planet so we're seeing an imbalance and a loss of symbiosis in the behaviors of everything so there's been a lot of really unusual sicknesses for people as our ability to thrive in a world that is also trying to thrive has been lost it's a bit like the survival of the fittest uh, is raising its head everywhere out of a, an inability to just fall into the sink of the natural laws and the orders and balance of life so that's been quite intense the last while and if you've been feeling something but not knowing what that is or seeing behaviors from others that really are throwing you into into wobbles or I suppose old behaviors wounds and traumas just just know that you can navigate this and it's really important to find your center and your peace and to not overly distract from it and head straight into it um, 
you are stronger than you think you are. You are a better, more beautiful soul than you may worry and wonder about. As in, our insecurities can raise our feelings of loneliness or anxiety or unworthiness or even a bit of victim mentality over why me and the world is out to get me and you know nobody loves me or I'm not deserving of this or you know it'll kind of go one of two ways it will go into the fears and doubts or it may go into sort of an overcompensation of grandiose sort of narcissistic type type thinking um, and even you know we all do both if we're having a really hard time we think why me the world is coming to get me when it is also slightly narcissistic because the world isn't out to get us and although we're all incredibly special none of us are special at the same time because we're all connected uh, and what is impacting others will impact us significantly um, um, hypersensitivity is also coming up for a lot of people and um, just changes in how we perceive and feel things which can feel a little bit disconcerting or another big word that I love discombobulating so we may feel really thrown because suddenly we feel things more we're aware of other people's feelings and emotions more um, things feel off or we may even question that we have other voices in our heads uh, and layers of, of mind thought and that's normal um, try and trust try and honor even document and test your instincts and intuitions um, and feel through them there's always a, a love and positive and light feeling in truth um, so just really huh, it's kind of been an anything goes time and it's going to have been different for everyone um, and also it is time for us to challenge the norms a bit more and as much as the light shines a torch on the dark or the dark is seen you know you always see the shadow um, it's there for us to finally start pushing for change now I don't know exactly how we create those changes I think each of us has a warrior inside and a, and a purpose and a reason to be here right now so all you can do is show up your very best every day in your job in your life in, and for you and mind yourself like really look at how you're spending your energy at the moment that is your most important currency of life and if you're wasting it spending it needlessly giving it away I just saw magpie one um, so just really look at that you know it's a the world wants us to believe it's a rat race with a great shortage of everything and that really isn't true um, although it may appear on the surface because things have become more expensive and all of that falseness that is happening right now like anyway won't get into that but we need to start asking more questions and seeing through things as they are um, in the middle ground. That's usually where the truth lies, in the middle ground, um, in that grey vague space. Um, so just mind yourselves. I'm going to show you another little image of my doggy and I'm going to wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Sending you love from here.